Okay, I'm going to show a basic quick video on how to reinstall Windows 10. I got to boot off the memory stick. Make sure that your computer is set to boot off the USB. Uh, this is USB 2.0, so it might take a good hot minute because... Uh, USB 2.0 speed is kind of slow. This is an older Dell Precision T3500. It does have an expansion card with USB 3.0 on the back, but usually most computers won't boot off of that. You need to boot off one of the motherboard ports because that's what it's going to look for first. And it's going to take a little while, so you got to be patient. Just be patient. I I guess I'll just record this live so that, uh, you know, in live, in real time, so that you know how long it takes, so that you can be patient. Eventually, you'll start to, ah, at, just as I speak, you'll start to see a loading wheel. Okay. Just click next, English, English. You want to click install now. Again, this is running off USB 2.0. On a newer computer, it might. Okay, it's not too bad. All right, you want to type in. For right now, I'm just going to say I don't have a key. And I have a pro license key. You can always add the license key later, but you just need to make sure you have the right version of Windows. So I'm going to select pro. You select whichever version of Windows you have a license key for. You want to select, I accept the terms of service. You don't want to do it upgrade because this has a corrupted install. And if you do it upgrade, it's just going to keep the same corrupted install on there. And it's going to cause problems. So if you're going to do a fresh install of Windows, like particularly with a corrupted install, like corrupted login password, you want to delete all the existing partitions. I'm not going to delete the Western Digital Black because that's the data drive. Once you delete the partitions, it's going to be unallocated space. Of course, I'm not deleting the Western Digital Black data drive. I'm only deleting the boot drive. It's going to have two partitions because it's going to have one for... Um, one for the EFI boot, and then one for the actual operating system. Refresh. Okay, so you want to select the drive. You want to make sure you select only unallocated space. Click Apply. And then click Next. And just let it install. And that is how to... I'm not going to sit through because this is going to probably take like... Uh, this has been upgraded with an SSD. But it's probably going to take like a good half hour. And then you got you got maybe another hour 
reinstalling drivers, maybe another couple hours reinstalling software. So you get the basic gist of it.